All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully lit. And today I want to go into the book of Psalms, chapter 58. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 58. To the chief musician, O Tezachith, Mishdom of David, do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O Yahweh, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters, which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces, as a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away as a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges in the earth. And yes, basically what this particular chapter is going into is Esau Edom and the judgment that he's going to receive. Because Esau Edom does work wickedness in his heart. He does weigh violence with his hands. They're like the deaf adder that stop at their ear, like a, a, a venomous snake. You know, that won't listen to a snake charmer. And their great teeth of the young lions is basically their military. Their military is going to be broken up. So when the Lord returns, the military, the U.S. military and the military all around the world, during World War III, these different military groups are going to start fighting each other to try and fight the Lord. But they're going to fail. And they are going to melt away as waters and as a snail. Then I'm going to play this clip. Item 127, missile suspension released. Item 128, launcher closure door open. Item 129, first stage ignition to missile.
I'm gonna play one more clip. Well, he's on your six so. limo. They need customized car insurance from Liberty Mutual, so they only pay for what they need. We are not getting you a helicopter. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Экипаж одевает защитные очки. Приближается к точке взрыва. Высота 4000 метров. Осталось 3 секунды. 2, 1, 0. Взрыв сопровождался световой вспышкой необычной силы. В этот момент самолет-носитель находился в сорочке, и последующие свечения, несмотря на сплошную облачность, были видны в радиусе до... Плевой столб, поднимающийся с земли, быстро увеличился в объеме. Через несколько секунд после взрыва диаметр полевого столба составлял около 10 километров. Увеличиваясь в размерах, облако медленно поднималось вверх. В своем конечном развитии оно достигло высоты 60-65 километров. And yes, the, basically the two clips that I previewed, the first one being a video of ICBM missiles being launched, and those are the arrows that are spoken of in certain scriptures. And in this scripture, verse 7, when he bended his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be cut, in, let them be as in cut pieces. Yes, those are the arrows, the ICBM missiles. That are going to be shot off throughout the world. And then. Verse 9. When it says before their pots. Can feel the thorns. He shall be. He shall take them away as a world. Take them away as with a whirlwind. Both living and in his wrath. As going into the impact. The explosion of these multiple missiles. That are going to touch down here in America. You know those multiple warheads. That's going to be you know, the impact. Because once these missiles explode. It's going to cause a sweep. It's going to cause a wall of fire to basically sweep across the nation. Then it's going to leave. It's going to melt everything. It's going to melt all the elements. And that's pretty much what this chapter is going into. This is the judgment of Esau, Edom, the heathens, and the two-thirds of Israel that are here in America. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, or Kakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Till the next time I say Shalom.